a 15 year old boy is brought to the pediatrician's office for his annual checkup. He reports feeling relatively healthy over the last year, although he does note that his vision and hearing seem to have deteriorated recently. On further probing, you learn that his uncle suffers from a genetic disorder characterized by the deafness and kidney disease. Characterized by the deafness and kidney disease, 15 year old boy. These three can tell you what disease we are talking about. A genetic disorder characterized by the deafness plus kidney disease and a 15 year old boy and it is Alport syndrome. When routine urine analysis of this patient reveals hematuria as well as erythrocyte casts and you begin to worry that this boy may suffer from a rare genetic disorder characterized by the mutation of the type 4 collagen. Right, Type 4 collagen is present on the basement membranes. Now let us see the genetic defects. Tell me whether it is autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant or what type of you know, genetic presentation you will see in the Alport syndrome because this is very important. Because I hope if anyone might have solved like NBME from like 12 to 16, you will see one question related to the Alport syndrome. They were asking about uh, what type of like genetic involvement we will see. We know that it is Alport syndrome just by seeing uh, the case presentation. Remember, it is a disorder with the heterogeneous inheritance. Heterogeneous inheritance, it is usually X-linked dominant. Usually X-linked dominant, more commonly we can say, more commonly X-linked dominant. But there are other variations also do exist, like autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant also exist, but more commonly, usually, the most common variant of the Alport syndrome is the X-linked dominant. Heterogeneous inheritance, that's the reason we are calling it as heterogeneous inheritance and that results in the mutation of the type 4 collagen. And if we talk about the type 4 collagen, where it is important, the type 4 collagen is a very important component of the cochlea, the anterior lens capsule of the eye, and also forms the scaffolding of the glomerular basement membrane, like invaginations or scaffolding of the glomerular basement membrane. And these are the three important areas, cochlea, anterior lens capsule of the eye, as well as the glomerular basement membrane. So whenever there is a defective type for collagen that leads to irregularities, what we will see in the glomerular basement membrane and results in malfunctioning of the glomerulus and a glomerular filtration barrier which leads to eventual sclerosis of the glomerular capillaries. So that's the reason there will be a nephritis kind of a presentation what we will see because of the involvement of the glomerulus. So what is a triad of the Alport syndrome? Involvement of the glomerular basement membrane there will be a nephritis. Involvement of the cochlea there will be a sensorineural deafness and uh, involvement of the anterior lens capsule of the eye there will be ocular disorder more commonly present as like a cataracts lens dislocation and corneal dystrophy but more commonly cataracts when you talk about the triad nephritis sensory deafness plus cataracts or nephritis sensory deafness plus lens dislocation so one ocular disorder must be present it should be majority of the cases it's a cataract and in like uh, 30 to 40 percent of the cases it may be a dislocation of the lens or corneal dystrophy so this is the triad what we will see in the alport syndrome this often initially presents with the hematuria because of the involvement of the glomerular basement membrane and the scaffolding and because of the inflammation there will be oozing out of the blood from the glomerular capillary and this enters into the renal tubules and from there into the urine. So initial presentation often patient complains with uh, hematuria as well as erythrocyte casts during adolescence and will usually progress to the renal failure by the middle age. So chronic renal failure by the middle age which is more fatal when compared to that of uh, you know, initial presentation in the adolescence. So the presentation, what we are seeing in our case, a 15 year old boy, we can say that 
it is like uh, initial presentation but by the middle age the prognosis is very poor and the disease will become more fatal so in like uh, if there is a chronic renal failure and if the renal failure ensures then renal transplantation is the only treatment of choice in the alport syndrome but in the initial cases you will give angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors mainly for this boy age is 15 years but even though you give like uh, you initiate the treatment with the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors the treatment of choice what you will inform to their parents as well as to the boy that renal transplantation is the only way you can completely treat this condition right so this is the case of alport syndrome 